Modern day production superbikes have come a long way, but we want to find out just how much. Today, we have the BMW S1000RR and the Honda CBR1000RRR Fireblade. We're here at Chuckwalla Valley Raceway in Southern California, and we have a very special guest tester by the name of Michael Dunlop, 19-time Isle of Man TT winner. We want to get his insight as to how far these production bikes have come. All right, guys, we are back from lapping a day here at Chuckwalla Valley Raceway, and alongside me, we got Michael Dunlop. Michael, what do you think about our little track in the desert? Yeah, you are quite fortunate. You've got good weather and a track in the middle of nowhere. That's something we don't have yeah. in Ireland, so yeah, it's different. It's Probably cool the track. driest track you've been on, huh? <laughs> well, that wouldn't be hard work from where I live. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's great. It's fucking yeah. Great we, uh, yeah. It's great we set up. It's fucking handy. It's, it's, well, it's not handy to anywhere, but it's just, you know, great track. Good facilities, yeah. can't go wrong. Yeah, and you, we were we were joking a little bit ago, you said that only the pit wall straight, you felt like you were going <laughs> real fast because we had something next to the racetrack. Everywhere else is just desert, so, yeah. uh, it's, but the only place I've went fast days is down the straight, so. But yeah, look, it, it's, it's, it's different, it's great wee circuit. I don't think I would like to get into an ambulance and heading anywhere. <laughs> it seems no, to be, no, 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 no. <laughs> it seems to be quite far away. But, Not at all. But it, yeah, it's good, and the weather's fucking roasting. So. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah, so. so, Michael, you've won Isle of Man 19 times. You have a ton of accomplishments mm -hmm. on the road. I want to hear about like what motivates you to go race on the real roads and why not the circuit? It's just something that we were reared in, you know, it was just my family. It's a, it's a heritage, you know, my uncle yeah. done it, my dad done it, you know what I mean? Uh, my other uncle, my uncle Jim done it as well. You know, that was what they done. That's what, you know, when you came from where I was, it was just uh, it's all you had, you know, it was motorbikes to get from A to B and Sort of when you when you're reared in something like that, you just get used to it. Now, you know, we talked about this a little bit ago as well. Like, had you had the option to go real roads or circuit, do you think maybe that would have changed? I don't know. I've always, like, you know, I always wanted to ride the roads. You know, it was always my thing to, to do that. I would like to have seen maybe what was possible to do. You know, I would like to have, if I went down the short circuit, really spent a bit of time and see if it was going to be any good at it or not. But all in all, roads was my, you know, it was my it was our thing. You know, that's what we done. So. Now, you know, again, kind of going along on the road circuit thing, we were talking Isle of Man has 230 uh -huh. plus corners, uh -huh. right? Absolutely. How do you, as a racer, a very successful racer there, how do you find a flow? How do you link all that stuff together? Do you have a method to that? I, I always say when your life depends on it, you'll soon remember it. So uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's one of them ones, but that's the, it's like anything you get used to, you know, it's the name of the game. That's what, what it's all about, you know, it's a, it's, it, it is a funny place because it's everything leads to everything, you know, and it's turn after turn after turn, and it's you know, 16, 17 minutes to do a lap, you know. Right. I mean, it's you know, there's a lot going on, but before you know it, you're back to start and finish again, and you're doing another lap, you know. Right. It goes in quite quick. I assume there's no time for a break there. No, no, you can't, you can't stop and can't get the stop and get a ham sandwich or nothing. Yeah, you got you got to keep trucking on, but obviously they break stop for fuel. That's the height of it, and then we go another two laps and stop for more fuel, and then we we keep going. So unbelievable. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, 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 you know, TT's massive, like it's, you know, it's, for years it's been, you know, the biggest thing ever, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool and it's different. Yeah, very cool. Now, today we're here, we're at Chuckwalla and we got two of the most modern production, quote unquote, super bikes on the market. We have the S1000RR and the Fireblade mm -hmm. uh, here alongside me. We wanted to get your opinion. How do these compare to the super bikes you race on the roads? Yeah, obviously, you know, th these are what the, the the two latest models. I know there's mm -hmm. been a new ZX10, mm -hmm. uh, well, and there's obviously the newer type BM, but they're, these are what they call the next generation mm -hmm. stuff. So, you know, when we go to a short bike, we change a lot of electronics. Yep. You know, we, we change a lot of that, and, and we change the engine quite quite differently. Stock-wise, we kind of use what you see here. Yep. Uh, we use as, as a stock bike, bar changing a few of the key parts. Yep internals but you have to use the, everything that has been homologated with the bike right so but you know obviously technology is getting a whole lot better from me from when i started you know technology is now you know so far advanced electronically wise and like everything now is electronic suspension and you know it's pretty unbelievable how far these have come huh yeah it's 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 quite a shock to the system when you think about it you know everyone's now going that next step 
you know, Michael, you've, you've ridden a lot of super bikes out on the roads and how competitive can these be out on the real roads? Yeah, well, obviously the, the new stock bikes are all claiming, you know, about 210 horse, which is yeah. mo more than enough horsepower for, for, for any, you know, man wanting to go on the road. There, there's no doubt about that. To me, the Mandate Super Bike's a wee bit different because we change the characteristics of them, but mm -hmm. they, you know, as a base bike now, they come with so much technology and so much horsepower, which you know means you're not having to go and spend an arm and a leg afterwards to try and gain, you know, so much horsepower. Mm -hmm. You know, they ha they have come a long way from from a stock form anyway, electronically and you know power wise as well. Right. Now, when you're converting these bikes over to super bikes, what's what's the main thing you're looking for? Everything. Everything. Yeah, you're looking at everything. You're looking, you know chassis to move better, you know, to turn better. You, you, people go with underslung swinging arm to change the diameter of weight distribution. You get the back tank changed, you have the frame, you know, you have the engine completely out of it, you have electronics, you know, everything. Everything. Uh, everything, you know. everything under the sun. Everything under the sun. We, we, nice. We, into a shorter bike, you know, because it's, you know, but you're always the chase, chasing horsepower as well as stability. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's time to find a balance. Happy medium, yeah. Yep. All right, Michael, thanks so much for coming out, man. I had a blast with you today, just ripping around our little desert circuit out here. Yeah, thanks for the time, I enjoyed it. It's something a bit different, so yeah. hopefully we'll be back again. Absolutely, we'll have to do it again. All right, guys, if you like this video, be sure to like it, comment, we wanna hear from you, and subscribe to the Cycle World YouTube channel. Go over to cycleworld.com, read the full story, and we'll see you next time.